Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in our Elasticsearch tutorial series. In the previous video we took a look at how we can sort on some field and in this video we are going to be uh, taking a look at how we can implement something called a range query. So in the last video to our uh, vehicle document, if you jump to it, we added a field called uh, created which is of type date. So with dates in Elasticsearch, we can do uh, some range queries, meaning that, for example, you can say, give me all vehicles in range from 2016 to 2020, or give me all vehicles that have been created before 2020 or after 2020, something like that. So we're going to take a look at how we can implement this range query, and we're just going to integrate it in our application. So hopefully uh, you like this, so stick with me, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Don't worry, it's actually quite simple. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to our search util class, so which is in the search util package, and we are going to be building a new query. So here we have this uh, get query builder method where we were building our uh, match query basically. We're going to do something sim similar here. We're going to be building a range query. So let's uh, basically copy this part here and paste it here. And uh, let me implement the method and then we can take a look at uh, what it does and how um, it's doing it. For example, um, in this method that we just built, we are going to be using the query builder to build this range query with the uh, field that we are providing. But keep in mind that we are using greater than equal date. So which means basically the date that you provide, you want to find all of the vehicles that are created after that date. So this is something that you can do. So there are a couple of options here. You can do greater than, greater than equal uh, to this date. Um, yeah, what else? So we have this uh, that are before the date. So uh, less than and less than equal. Uh, a certain date so you can take a look at the range query it really uh, offers you some options um, that you can use it's quite actually nice but as you can see building the query is rather basic so it's uh, nothing complicated so the next thing that we want to do is we want to integrate it in our um, method so here we want to um, create a new method uh, so that we can extract so that we can extract this building of the query. Um, here we have this uh, build search query with uh, search request DTO. We don't want to pass in the search request DTO in this other case. So we are going to copy this part here and we're going to build a new method here. Name again, build search query, but uh, together with our index, we are going to be providing basically the same things as we here. So we can just uh, copy paste them from here. So together with the index, we are providing the field name and we are providing the uh, date. So um, let's then take a look at what else we can do. Basically, it will be exactly the same as here. We could uh, basically extract this. Uh, so extract to a different method called, um, actually we can't do that because we are providing the DTO. So we have to go back. We have to, uh, we can copy this part only and uh, go here, try catch uh, final, So here uh, we just need the builder. As you can see here, we are using this new search request builder. Basically we can copy this part also. So it's quite similar as um, what we had before, but instead of uh, get query builder here, we are passing in the field and we are passing in the, uh, the date. Oops, yep. So we are passing into the builder, we are passing in the field and the date, and this can be final. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have our request being built here and we have our build search request method and we can copy um, this part so that we return null here. And that's it. So let's uh, jump to wherever this build search request method is called. This is basically the search method. So we have a search here. Um, we could 
Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we could um, extract this part to a method. So we can extract this and call it something like search. Mm. Yeah, something like this. So it's like an internal method that we're using. It won't be public. And then um, we can uh, copy this part here and create a new method called um, get all vehicles created since. And to this method, we are going to be passing in our date. Yep. And to here, we are going to be using the build search request to where we pass in uh, the field name, which is created. And we're going to be passing in the date. So it's uh, similar to uh, what we have here. And again, we are calling this um, search internal with the request that we just created. So this part here, and it's uh, everything is exactly the same here. So we nothing, we are nothing is changing. We can make this final, and um, basically all that's left is uh, to create um, a controller. So the endpoint. So uh, let's create a get mapping, and uh, let's again go at search. And uh, let's put the date here and public a list. We're going to be returning a list of vehicles and uh, let's name it the same as we did one in the uh, in the service. So here and uh, what we have here is the path variable and um, final date date and return service date. One thing that we have to take care of here is formatting. So if we would just leave it like this, this would not work. So we have to add a uh, formatting and to do that. We are going to use the uh, super nice date time format annotation and to the date time format annotation. You can uh, provide a pattern and the pattern should be the same one as we had uh, when we are indexing our data. And that's it. So basically you could also extract this somewhere so that we don't have to copy it and all that stuff. But yeah, doesn't matter. And I think that should be it. Everything should be the same uh, and everything should be working hopefully. So let's start our application as always Elasticsearch is running. And in the previous tutorial, I already created this index um, with a new field. So we have this created field. So you should also have it at this point. Let's go to Postman and um, let me go to our endpoint. So we have the API vehicle slash search slash a date. So this is the format that we are using. And if I send this request in, we get nothing because apparently there is nothing. But if I um, go to from year 2000, we should get some vehicles. And here they are. We got um, with the ID one, two, four, five, six. I think we don't even have the ID three. So when I was indexing, I probably skipped ID three. And you can see the years. We have 2016, 2020, 2021. Let's try with 2020, meaning that the one from 2016 should not be returned. And here it is. We have um, 2021, 2021. Perfect. It's really working. And if we go to um, 19 and hit enter, we have 2020. So if I copy this date, we should also get it because we have we are using greater than equal. So let's see that. Yeah, it's still being returned, which is exactly what we want. Perfect. So that's everything for this tutorial. Also, uh, hopefully uh, you liked this video and everything was clear. If something is unclear, do let me know. And yeah, um, for all questions, I'm here for you. So hopefully you liked it and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>